for an opinion. How much do you think the current regulatory environment or landscape has really contributed to the need for a solid vendor risk management program? Well, again, I, I can only speak from my own perspective, but it certainly turned my attention much more to vendor management than it has in the past. Now, insurance does cover vendor breaches. I mean, I guess that's the starting point, right? That, that um, you know, at least most of the insurance that, that I think is out there, and certainly the insurance that I sell, um, does cover our insureds if their vendor has a breach, both um, from a first party and third party perspective. So that's why it's important to me when I underwrite, and I think most of you um, that, that are dealing with the, with the insureds, um, so uh, it, it absolutely has. These, these regulations um, ha have turned a focus uh, for, for the um, risk managers and for the underwriters and the brokers uh, all to, to take a different look at this and what impact it's had on that analysis that I, that I mentioned earlier. So um, you know that um, the obligations remain with the data owner. Now, that's, it's not always clear in each, in each regulation who the data owner is uh, in each scenario. But if we assume that the the insured in our case, uh, in dealing with their vendors, um, they are ultimately always the, the data owner under, under those regulations. They, they can't transfer their obligations under that law necessarily to that vendor. And, um, uh, you know, certainly they can try to transfer the costs and, and some other things, how the, the breach is dealt with. But at the end of the day, it's their obligation to fulfill the, 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 the statute, if you will, the notification obligations. So, um, you know, all that has to be taken into account then when you're analyzing, again, what's the, the, uh, the risk to uh, outsourcing to, to a third party. Um, so thinking about the type of information, how much, um, the ability of that company to uh, secure that information, to uh, put into place the, uh, the proper technologies to secure it. Are they financially stable enough to do that? Are they financially stable enough to respond to a breach? Um, obviously the contract, there's implications there that, that I think Ron will get into. And then fr again, from the insurance perspective, not just of the insured, but also the, uh, of the vendor. So obviously in the contract, you, you put in obligations. Well, that has to change a little bit because now you have to think down to that degree of, uh, you know, data breach notifications and how far do I go in my contract? Do I spe specify exactly who's responsible for what, who's going to pay for what, um, but also my own insurance. What happens if that vendor can't step up? Well, you bring up a good point because I've seen an awful lot of requests come in from clients and say, you know, they have a cyber policy. Here's a contract they're asking to sign. Um, let me know if it's covered kind of thing. And, you know, when the obligation is uh, attempted to be transferred for breach notification, I do question question with, uh, you know, a broad breach of contract exclusion, you know, they mo most of them they read, you know, uh, a liability assumed under contract unless the liability would attach in the absence of the contract. But if you're transferring breach notification, do we really think that that liability would be transferred if there was, if it had been bed for that contract? And so, uh, to me, I think that's, that's uh, and it's, you know, insurance needs to respond right. to those obligations. Well, I mean, I certainly think that's a trend that we're seeing on the insurance side is that we're recognizing now that, you know, it's hard, it's difficult to prove negligence. We've talked about that for the last day and a half. Um, so people are trying to put this into the contract. And, uh, and obviously your insurance policy then needs to respond to that scenario because maybe you're not going to get sued under a, a tort theory. Maybe um, it is going to be just a, a contractual indemnification that's triggering the, uh, the, the transfer. And, and so the insurance policies need to be able to respond to that.